now we'll see this problem statement there it says that a cyclist traveling at a speed of 335.28 km per hour so the velocity of the cyclist is 35.28 km per hour which is equals to the if I calculate it, it is equal to 9.8 meter per second approximately. Takes a turn around a band of radius 32. So, the band of radius is 32. So, our radius R equals to 32. Oh, it's actually not 32, it's 32.6. It will be 30. 2.6 so it is actually equals to 32.6 so now we have to find the tangent of the inclined angle with the vertical axis so it means that we have to find out when when the cyclist takes a turn he will move from this vertical angle to, so, to sort of some this angle so we have to find out the angle between these two so this is the our mm, oh, not the angle the tangent we have to find out the tangent of this angle of the inclined angle of this inclined angle with the vertical axis this is our vertical axis we know the formula we know the formula of banking angle tan theta equals to v square by rg v square by rg here we know the value of V is 9.8 meter per second whole square and the value of R is 32.6 and the value of N, uh, G is given the 9.8 meter per second square. So we will use the value. If we calculate all these things, the value will be 0 0.3. So the tangent of this inclined angle with the vertical axis is equal to the 0 0.3. So this is our first problem about banking. <coughs> this is easy to solve. Now coming to the second one. The second problem says that <coughs> a train is rounding a curve of radius 200 meter. So our given that the a train is rounding a curve. Suppose this is the curve and the radius of this curve is 200 meter. So our r equals to 200 meter at a speed of 36 kilometer per hour and our speed v equals to 36 kilometer per hour which is equals to uh, 10 meter per second which is equals to 10 meter per second if the separation of the lines be 90 centimeter so separation of the lines means the distance between these two two line the, the inner line the outer line the distance between this inner and outer line suppose we take this as x this x is x equals to 90 centimeter which is equals to the 0 0.9 meter so what should be the difference what should be the level difference between the inner and outer rail in order to secure proper banking in order to secure proper banking so we we have to find out first of all we have to find out the banking angle to find out the banking angle so first of all we find out the banking angle we know the formula of finding banking angle is 10 theta equals to v square by rg v square by rg which is equals to the 10 square into r, uh, r equals to 200 meter and g is 9.8 which is equals to which is equals to if i find 100 square means 10 square means 100 by 200 into 9.8 equals to 9.8 half of 9.8 half of 9 so we find out that tan theta but uh, we can say that the tangent angle or banking angle 
we know this tan theta and the sin theta are equal so we know and uh, we know that tan theta we can write tan theta equals to h by x what is h by x suppose this is our inner part this is our outer line this inner line create an angle theta with the outer line the outer line has height of h and the distance between this inner and outer line is x this is the whole formula as this theta are very very small so we can write sin theta equals to tan theta for a small angle of theta the sin theta and tan theta are equal so for that we can write sin theta equals to h by x we know the value of tan theta equals to 1 by 2 into 9.8 and we know the value of x equals to 0 0.9 meter 0 0.9 meter so we can write for h equals to 0 0.9 to divide by 2 into 9.8 which is equals to the 0 0.046 meter or we can write this as 4.6 centimeter so the difference between the inner and outer rail in order to secure a proper packing is 0 0.046 meter or 4.6 centimeter to find out the difference between this inner part and outer part so that's all for today's video in this uh, chapter 5 circular motion loss of circular motion we we learn for the about torque we learn about angular acceleration angular momentum and we also derive some equations we uh, learn about newton's laws of angular motion we learn about the moment of inertia we learn about our uh, banking centripetal force etc etc so and we solve some problem around these uh, topics i hope you understand the whole concept of uh, uh, angular motion so if you enjoy this video please like this video do subscribe to our channel thank you for be with us